I am really excited to share this total body workout with you today. This is one of my favorite ways to work out, a really fast, effective workout that works the full body in one awesome workout. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So we are going to get started with a warm up. It's always a good idea to get warmed up, so we're just gonna do a knee to elbow, and I'm going to be doing a hop, so it's a hop knee to elbow. If the hop is too much, then I just want you to bring up that knee to your elbow. If you can, get that hop in, get that extra jump up heart rate, and to get those calves warmed up just a little bit more. From here, we're gonna go into some jumping jacks. There's another modification if you need it. And let's do that in three, two, one. Here we go, jumping jacks. Get those arms all the way up. If the jump is too much, then just do a side to side. If you can, let's get that full jumping jack going. Good. We've got arm circles in three, two, one. So it's just going to be a circle like a windmill. We're just going to get those shoulder blades, those shoulder muscles moving. We're going to go the opposite way in three, two, one. Reverse. Here we go. Open up that chest. Getting our body ready for this total body workout. Okay. We're going to take it into some side stretches in three, two, one. We're just going to take a lunge over to the side and stretch. Big reach over. You should be pulling that stretch in the sides. Big reach and release. Again, stretch over. A good pull on that side. Oh, that feels good. And release. One more. Pull. Oh. Getting that good stretch and release other side. Lunge over, reach over across the body. Giving ourselves that good reach. Again, here we go. Reach, three, two, one. One more time. And release. Good, we should be feeling nice and warm. Warmed up, loosened up a little bit. Okay. So our first exercise, we're gonna get that heart rate jumped up. We're gonna go to the side of our mat. This is a side to side, high knee lateral rep. Kind of a long knee. So it's gonna be side to side. We're gonna pick up our knees, get to that side, head back over the other way. If this is too much, I just want you marching over, okay? If not, I want you to see those arms pumping. Go back over. Those heart rates up. And we're gonna be breathing here. Let's go back over one more time. Here we go. Good, high knees, tight core. Good. Okay, for our next move, we're gonna do a squat. Nice low squat. Then we're gonna squat down to a frog. Jump back to a plank. Do a plank jack, the knees popped up. Back to a frog. And stand. So down to a squat, the frog, jump back to a plank, plank jack, and stand. Good. Nice little squat. Down to a frog, jump back, plank, frog, stand. Good. Nice and low. When you're back in this plank, I want that core super tight. Nice and strong. Frog. You don't want to hurt that lower back. Nice and low squat. Tight core. Good. Let's do three more. Nice low. Tight core. Jump back up. Okay, we got two more. Down. Good. Our last one. Down to that frog. Plank jack. Up and stand. Okay, we're going to take it down to our mats. This is the plank walk, the lateral plank walk. So we're gonna get up to a plank on our hands and our toes, and we're gonna walk across our mats and go back. The planks are awesome because it's a total workout in itself. 
But when you add this little walk to it, it works the body more. You will feel that in your chest, in your core, in your back. You'll feel it all over. Good. Let's do a couple more walks. And over. Let's go back to the other side. And that will be good. Nice work, keeping a tight core. Good job. Okay, so our arms should be feeling nice and toasty from our lateral plank walks. But we're gonna get those arms just a little bit more. So this is the inchworm to a push-up. So inchworm, I want you to bend over, keeping those legs as straight for as long as you can and your heels to the floor as long as you can. So you're gonna walk down, keeping those heels down as long as they can. And then you're gonna do a push-up. Nice and low. If you need to, drop to those knees. It's all right. Now let's walk it back up. Nice and slow. And then I want you to roll your back up. Good. Let's do it again. Go down for those toes. Leaving those heels down as long as you can. Go down, do a push up, and walk. Giving our backs a slow roll up. Awesome. Here we go again. Inch warming down. Do a push up. And back up with a slow roll. Awesome. This is another one. These inch worms are awesome. Your abs and obviously our push ups are for our chest. Arms. Let's do one more. Here we go. Slow inch work down. Push up. Inch work back. And a slow roll up. Awesome. Okay, for this next one, these are good mornings. These are really good stretch for the hamstrings. So this one, you just have your, hip, your feet distance just right under your hips right outside of your hips. You're gonna have our arms straight out. This one, you're gonna want a really flat back. We're gonna get that stretch in the hamstring. You're just gonna bend over, hinge over at those hips. Down so you're nice and flat. And look down at that floor. Oh, you feel that stretch up those hamstrings. Oh, that feels so good. Let's bring it back up. Good. Hinge over again. When we're doing these, I want your legs straight. I want a tight core. You can get that belly button to that spine. And you're not having your shoulders tense up, you're having your shoulders down. You won't have a tight neck. And then stand it back up. That stretch feels so good, doesn't it? How are you feeling? You feeling that stretch? Good. Oh, let's hold it here. Hmm. Making sure those shoulders aren't tied up to that neck. Those legs are straight, that back is straight. And let's bring it back up again. Let's do it two more times. Here we go. Lower it down. Relax those shoulders. Make sure that back is flat. And let's bring it back up. It's our last one. Here we go. Bend over, hinge over at those hips. Flat back, relax shoulders. Sucked in tummy. Oh, feel that stretch. Oh, that feels amazing. Here we go. Stand back up. Awesome. Okay, we're going to take it down to the mat and work on some abs. So first we're going to be doing some in-outs. These are ones I always love to do. These are my go-to abs. So there's a couple different options. In-outs are your legs are just coming in and out. In and out. If you need to, you can have your hands behind you. Tell them to go in and out. If you can do without the hands, I want you to put your hand right here to go in and out. So let's keep it right here. Unless you need those hands behind you for support for now. Until you build up that ab strength, which we will, right? We'll keep it right here. In, out, in, out, in, out, in. Let's do five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Okay, this next one. Is it similar to the in-out, but it's the wide in-out. 
this one just gives those abs a little different. This one, since it's so different, I like to have my arms behind me. So it's the same as the in outs, but it's wide. I always refer to this as uh, kind of feels like where you were when you uh, were having a baby. So we're gonna go here, keeping those feet wide. I don't want those feet coming together at all. So it's out, in, out, in, out, in. These ones are harder. Usually we don't have your legs out like this. Let's do five, four, three, two, one. Good. Okay, our final ab exercise is a seated in a Russian twist. Our abs burning. Shoulders are burning. We're feeling good. How are you doing? Okay. This one, there's a couple different options. Feet up. Another Russian twist here. If you need to, put your heels down. It's okay. So we're gonna drop those, pick those feet up, and we're gonna go for speed here. So we're just gonna twist here. My elbows aren't hitting the ground. We're just going for speed. When you're doing the speed, you can bust out a lot more of these. So we're just gonna keep going. Okay, we're gonna push those abs, giving ourselves one last burn. We got this. Keep breathing. Let's do 20 more. 10, 9, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ouch. Burn. Go ahead and roll over. We're gonna stretch out that core. Breathe in, a few deep breaths, always feels good to end with a little stretching. Oh. Those legs got worked, the back got worked, take it back to child's pose. Shoulders, abs, hamstrings, chest, I think we just hit them all. We feeling good? We feeling worked? A short, quick workout. Sometimes that's all you need is a good, effective workout. Thanks for joining me for this total body workout. Head over to the Be A Fit Mommy blog to view the four week summer bod challenge calendar for free. A great way to get ready for summer. Challenge your friends to join you for extra support. All you need to do is click the link down in the description to get started. Are you up for the challenge?